put on your pedantry tinfoil helmet and say in your best comic book guy voice, don't be ridiculous, space does not have sound effects, you would not hear the Death Star exploding, that is wrong. There are no sounds in space, you know that. Why did you even click on this? Wait, 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 I still have things I want to teach you. Keep that tinfoil hat on, stick around. First, a quick review. Why are there sounds? What are these things we detect with our ear shell flaps which adorn the sides of our hat resting orb? Sounds are pressure waves moving through a medium like air, water, or beer. Talking, explosions, and music push air molecules into other air molecules. Through all that stuff pushing other stuff, it eventually pushes the stuff that we call our eardrum and that lets us hear a thing. So much like how there's not enough stuff in space to take a temperature reading, there's not enough stuff in space to be considered a medium for sound to move through. Don't get me wrong, there's stuff there, there's particles. Even in intergalactic depths there are a few hundred particles every cubic meter. And there's much more in a galaxy. They're so far apart though, the particles don't immediately collide with each other, allowing a sound wave to pass through a grouping of them. So even if you did watch the Death Star explode, you couldn't hear it. This includes zapping lasers and exploding rockets. Unless two astronauts touch helmets together, then they could talk. The sound pressure moves through the air molecules in one helmet, through the glass transferring from one helmet to the other, and then pushes against the air inside the helmet of the listening astronaut. Then they could talk, or possibly hear one another scream, or just make muffled noises under the face hugger that have been hiding in their boot. There's no sound in space, so you can't hear what a supernova sounds like. But if you're willing to consider swapping out your listening meats for more impressive cybernetic components, there are possibilities. Perhaps I could offer you something in a plasma detection instrument and you could hear the sun. Voyager 1 detects waves of particles streaming from the sun's solar wind. It was able to hear when it left the heliosphere, the region where the sun's solar wind buffets against the interstellar medium. Or you could try something in the Marconi Orinator 1000, which is the latest in radio detector implants. I just made up. If there was such a thing, you could hear the plasma waves in Earth's radiation belts, which would be pretty amazing, but perhaps something impractical for otherwise lifestyle purposes such as watching Ellen. So if you wanted to hear a supernova, you need a different kind of ear. In fact, something that's not really an ear at all. There are some exceptions out there. With dense clouds of gas and dust at the heart of a galaxy cluster, you could have a proper medium. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory has detected sound waves moving through these dust clouds, but you would need ears millions of billions of times more sensitive to hear them. NASA and other space agencies work tirelessly to convert radio, plasma, and other activity into a sound pressure format that we can actually hear. There are beautiful things happening in space, and I've included a few links below which will take you to a few of these, and they are really quite incredible. Get in on the fun. Record us a video response if you sing the comic book guy line at the beginning of this episode, or write one of your own, or if you're quite so brave, tell us about your favorite sounds from space that you've come across. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. We couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Dusty Reichwein and the many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Waves of particles streaming from the. Hold on, I got. Let me go back again. Go, action. No, oh, it's alright, I gotta do it again. Hold on. <laughs> Didn't have it queued up in the right spot. Okay. Even intergalactic. Get out. Worst episode ever. <laughs>